What fraction of the figure is shaded? So we're going to take, I want you to take red trapezoids and cover the shaded part. And we're going to make some fractions. And then write the fraction. They gave you the denominator in the box already. Covering with red trapezoids, what is your fraction, Mr. Caleb? What would your fraction be here? Three-fourths. Everybody agree? Thumbs up if you agree with Caleb. So Sarah, did you put your red trapezoids on there? All right, what does, this, what does number two say, Jack? I'm covering with green triangles. All right, let's do that. Green triangles. I need a big triangle. So how many green triangles does it take, and then what is our fraction? Wait, what? The nice thing is they've given us the denominator. Wait, why are two and three both covering with green triangles? Um, that's for the bottom. Two and three, two, three and four for the bottom. Oh, good catch, Ben. That's a good question. So the green triangles on this, this new shape, this new hole, how many green triangles does it take to cover that whole shape? If you were going to cover it solid with green triangles, how many would it take? Kyla? Eight plus. How many would it take to cover the whole thing? Um. So if we covered the whole thing solid, how many would it be? 12 tops. Okay, so it would take 12 to cover it. So if you cover the shaded part, what, what fraction did you make again? So I was asking you two separate questions, honey. I wanted to know the bottom number. So if we covered the whole thing, the whole thing would be 12. How many did you make? How many did it take to cover the shaded region? Eight twelfths. Eight twelfths. Did we all get eight twelfths? Mm -hmm. Did you count up eight triangles? All right, move your green what? triangles. Debate. How many, Jane, you think it's how many? Nine. Prove it. Because 